Hi, guys, welcome to Digiber channel. If you're watching this video because you forgot your lock screen passcode and your iPhone gets locked out, then, in this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways to factory reset your locked iPhone without iTunes, so you can get into your iPhone again, without using a passcode. So make sure you keep watching till the end. Alright, if your iPhone gets locked out and says iPhone unavailable, or security lockout, it's probably because you, or someone else, have tried to unlock your iPhone but only entered multiple wrong passcodes. Then your iPhone locks you out temporarily. You're only allowed to try again a few minutes later, from one minute to an hour. You'll have to wait till the lock timer ends. And if you keep trying to unlock your iPhone with a wrong passcode, you will be locked out of your iPhone completely by the 10th failed attempt. And that's where you'll have to factory reset your locked iPhone so you can regain the access to it. So if you forgot your iPhone passcode, no worries. Here, I'm gonna show you three ways to reset your locked iPhone to its factory settings. When your iPhone gets locked with an unavailable or security lockout alert on the lock screen, you still have the chance to reset your iPhone passcode using the Erase iPhone option on the lock screen. This Erase iPhone option will be available for you if your iPhone is updated to iOS 15.2 or newer, and is also connected to a stable network. Additionally, for this to work, you're going to use your Apple ID password, so make sure you know the exact password to your Apple ID. And in case if your iPhone is running an earlier iOS version, you can go ahead and follow the second method to factory reset your iPhone. Alright, when your iPhone gets locked with this iPhone unavailable or security lockout message, you can keep trying wrong passcode till your iPhone tells you to try again in 15 minutes. That's where you've got this erase iPhone option on the lock screen. So right here, we just simply tap the erase iPhone option. Then you'll see this erase alert. As you can see, this is gonna erase all your content and settings to perform a factory reset on your locked iPhone. Since you forgot your iPhone passcode, this is the only way to get your access back, so we tap on the Erase iPhone option once again for confirmation. Then you'll be required to enter your Apple ID password to sign out of your Apple account. Once you input the correct password, the factory reset will start immediately on this locked device. We just wait till the progress bar finishes. Your iPhone will restart with everything erased just like this. Here, the hello screen shows up, which means your locked iPhone has been totally reset to factory settings. Now, just take your time to go through the setup process. You can also choose to restore your data from a recent backup either from iCloud or from your computer. And if your iPhone is running an older iOS version than iOS 15.2, then you can try the third-party tool, iPhone Unlocker, to perform a full factory reset on your locked iPhone when you forget your iPhone passcode. It's very easy to use, and you don't have to use your Apple ID or any password. So now, follow the steps. Firstly, we're gonna install the iPhone Unlocker on our computer. So, open a browser, and visit AppGeeker.com. From the product list here, we simply select iPhone Unlocker. I'll also put the download link below this video so you get it easily. Alright, then, open it up. From the main interface here, click on White Passcode, and start. Here, you're gonna connect your locked iPhone with your computer using a suitable USB cable. And force your phone into the recovery mode. 
If you have no idea about what the recovery mode is, don't worry. I'll show you how to do it step by step. Alright, we connect, and then turn off the iPhone. And now, if you're using an iPhone 8 or a newer iPhone model, we just press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button, and keep holding the power button, don't release it until you see this recovery mode screen. Alright, this is what recovery mode looks like. And now, your locked iPhone should be recognized by your computer successfully. And, for iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, after you connect and shut it down, we just press and hold the side and volume down button at the same time. Keep holding it until the recovery mode screen is on your iPhone. If you're using iPhone 6 or any older iPhone models, just power off your iPhone after connection. Then hold both your home button and the side button. Hold for seconds until your device enters the recovery mode. After that, your locked iOS device will be detected automatically. So here, simply confirm your device information and continue. An appropriate iOS firmware will be downloaded to your unavailable iPhone. It may take a while depending on your network condition. When it's done, here should pop up a message window. To do a full factory reset on your locked iPhone, follow the instructions to enter 0000 in the box, then confirm the unlocking process. When this progress circle finishes, your locked iPhone will be reset to its factory default state. Now, you can get into your iPhone and set a new iPhone passcode. The last but not least method I'm going to show you here is to use your iCloud. Using your iCloud account, you can remotely reset your locked iPhone without passcode. To do that, one thing necessary is that your iPhone has enabled the Find My feature previously. So, on your iPad or Mac, we head to iCloud.com. On the login page, input your Apple ID and also the password. Once in, select the Find My icon from the corner. Then choose the locked iPhone that you'd like to factory reset. Here, as you can see, you'll be given the Erase iPhone option. It's similar as the first method. So we just choose the Erase iPhone option and then confirm it. Apple may ask you to make a double verification here. If so, just follow the on-screen tips to enter your verification code. After that, your locked iPhone will start erasing everything itself. And if your iPhone has no internet connection, the erase operation will begin next time when your device gets connected to the network. The reset takes a few minutes. To avoid interruption, you can keep your iPhone charged, just in case it gets powered off in the middle. Soon your iPhone will light up with the Apple logo, it's been totally erased. Follow the prompts to set up your iPhone from the scratch. You'll also have the option to retrieve your personal data from the latest backup if you've backed up your iPhone recently. Alright, that's all for today. Hope this video really helped you out. And after factory resetting your locked iPhone, don't forget to create a new lock screen passcode. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and we'll keep sharing more helpful tech tips. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, see you.